वेलकम बैक टू ग्रोइंग क्राफ्ट फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड सोनिया शाह फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग क्राफ्ट एंड आई रियली होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड नाउ कमिंग बैक टू दी ट्यूटोरियल नाउ दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल टिकट पार्ट पेपर द राइस पेपर्स फ्रॉम माई टी कलेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ब्यूटीफुल विंटेज पैनल आउट ऑफ दिस Now, whenever I use my decoupage papers, I make sure that I do not waste any of the portions. So, in this tutorial, you will see how you can use your decoupage papers wisely. Now, this is a beautiful collection. Whatever the supplies I'm using, the links are there in the video description box. Now, for my base, I have already prepped it up with the gesso, and I'm going to use my modeling paste and my palette knife. You have to be really careful when you are using your modeling paste and your palette knife. Like here, I wanted a very thick consistency of my modeling paste. So what I did for that is I actually took out my modeling paste, kept it out for some time, like five ten minutes, and then I started using it. So it was really, really, really thick, and which I really loved. So whenever you want to create a beautiful background, you can use your craft stencils, and then you can use your palette knife. Use your modeling paste, and you can create beautiful designs. So in uh, stencils, you can choose the designs, whatever you want. Like here, in which I this one, I'm using a floral theme background, and it has some uh, uh, different patterns on the background. So I'm using the similar kind of stencil. You can even go for the contrast ones. So here in this tutorial, you can see I'm using just one stencil, and I created and covered the complete background. Meanwhile, I'm going to use my silicon mold. Yes, this is the same silicon mold which is used for your resin art, and I'm going to use the same for my clay modeling book. Now, here I'm using an air dry clay. You can check out the options in the link given below, and yes, you can use your palette knife to make this work a little smoother. So, whenever I use my clay modeling work, I use my palette knife, and then it's like super easy to just take out all your modeling work and use it for your base and this way you can create a beautiful and different number of layers of your uh, clay work now it's time to use my decoupage paper and for this i am going to use my mod podge you can even use your decoupage glue now with the help of a brush we are going to spread out our decoupage glue or the mod podge whatever you are using very well on your wooden base or your mdf base now you can do the same technique on your uh, metal base on your plastic base on your glass base and the here what i'm using is an mdf base So decoupage is an art which can be done on different surfaces and on different mediums. Now here first I'm sticking one of my portions of the decoupage paper just to make you remind that I have already kept the remaining portion which we are going to use. First I'm going to stick this pretty well with my paint brush and if you want you can even use your stencil brushes. Trust me it works so well all these stencil brushes they are like so versatile. You can use them with your paints for your stencil work you can even use them for pressing your napkin. Now whenever you are doing this step please do make sure that your modeling paste had dried out completely. Now moving on to the next part yes like I told you I do not like wasting my craft supplies. So here I am taking up this leftover piece and this is such a gorgeous wooden base design I did not want to miss that. So whenever you are creating a vintage uh, background vintage decoupage art or your draw uh, any of those rustic thing these uh, cute little elements like absolutely gorgeous and amazing so you can literally mix them blend them with different art forms like you can use your uh, clay with this you can use your resin with this and you can create beautiful backgrounds with this now i'm going to stick this on my base completely and then again like i said you can even use your uh, stencil brushes to make sure that your texture work comes out pretty well so here i'm using my paint brush and uh, my stencil brush to make sure that it sticks really well to my base when you are using your stencil brushes please make sure that you use it in a circular motion and the straight lines only now when everything dries out remove the excessive sides of my rice paper or my decoupage paper i am going to use a sand paper you can even use your nail filers so once i'm done with this i'm going to make sure that i let it dry completely and then move on to the next step now the remaining steps are going to be super amazing and super cool please do make sure that you watch this video till end Now here I'm using my modeling, uh, my mod podge, and I'm going to stick my clay embellishment. So here in this particular one, I was very sure that I do not want it to uh, dry my uh, clay work completely before sticking. So I am quickly using this on my page. If you want, you can even use your resin embellishments instead of the clay embellishments. They also work out pretty well. So once I'm done with the sticking of this part, then I am going to use my brown color chalk paint. Now one of the very important part of decoupage art is whenever you are doing your decoupage art, you need to 
use your chalk paints please do not use your acrylic paints because they give a very complete different look and feel so if you watch the end pictures what i have posted in this tutorial you will realize that how beautiful and how gorgeous these uh, cutouts look like whenever you use your uh, chalk paints on the top of it so here i'm going to cover up my complete uh, clay work with the brown color chalk paint and i'm going to make sure that i cover each and every part of it this is the best part of tutorial which i really like where i really get to play with the colors and they turn out to be so gorgeous and so beautiful so once i am done with this work i'm just going to do a little more of like color blending technique so here is one of my best way of using my chalk paints as my color blending technique what i do is i add a lot of water to it of course it depends on the kind of consistency in the color um, brightness or the darkness you want add the water dilute it and then it becomes super easy to blend in the colors on your bases so if you have not seen my nameplate making tutorial the rikopaj nameplate tutorials what i have done check it out on my channel you will absolutely love it like at growing craft we have done almost all kind of nameplates and yes we are working on few more very very soon coming up on our channel now here once i am almost done with the color blending work i'm just going to add a little more of red color to it just to blend in with the color which is there in my deco patch paper this is more of the color blending technique what you should do now i just felt that the upper brown color is like really dominating so as compared to my bottom one so what i'm going to do is later on i'm going to dilute that but you need to make sure that after each layer of work each 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 uh, paint each medium has to dry out completely now i'm just doing some of the dry brush technique work on my brown shade and once i am done with this i am going to really make sure that i blend in as much as color i can so here i've just picked up two chalk paints one is the uh, red chalk paint the other one is the brown chalk paint so once i am done with this i'll let it dry completely so that i can do my massive stamping how can i forget massive stamping now here using my permanent ink pad so that it does not bleed and yes i am going to use my massive stamping just adding a little contrast touch to this just to highlight my um, the focal point of my decoupage paper and trying to add a little more element on my base now please do make sure that you use your massive stamp with your permanent ink pad only so that whenever you use it it does not bleed and your design stays like that forever now just in case if you guys have not checked out the um, paper collection do check out the paper collection link i have mentioned in the description box even i have mentioned the remaining craft supplies links also and i'm sure you guys are going to love it so after my massive stamping work here it is the time to play around my metallic chalk paint and this is one of the best part when you really play around with your chalk paints your metallic paints your metallic waxes i absolutely love it so yeah here i'm using my metallic chalk paint and i'm just going to blend in really well highlighting my focal points so in this project i have made up my two focal points one is the uh, embellishment work the second one is of course my decoupage paper so decoupage paper is already so gorgeous and beautiful that this uh, diy wall panel is already looking so gorgeous so i just had to highlight my uh, clay work and my stencil work and it's looking absolutely fab so here a little quicker version of this one so yeah it doesn't work out that quickly but yes in video everything looks much more faster for you guys so here i'm using my metallic chalk paint blending a lot of colors here and there and trying to make everything in one sink so that when i say it's a vintage so it looks like that vintage and a classy and a beautiful artwork for your home decor now yes this is one of the easiest and the best way of creating your own diy home decor once i am done with this like when i'm done with every craft or uh, color blending technique then i'm going to use my varnish and i'm going to make sure that i apply it in just two to three coats of varnish So with this my project is done I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial do let me know your feedback in the comment section and thank you so much for watching guys take care and bye bye